video is about saving money while traveling in Germany. Hello, my name is Sabine. I'm a longtime solo traveler and I already made more videos about uh, traveling tips, uh, basic tips, uh, preparing tips. So you can watch my other videos too, of course. And of course, you can push the button to subscribe to my channel. So this video is about saving money while traveling in Germany. Um, if you look in uh, the Europe, Germany is not even a very expensive uh, country to travel, but it's always good to have some travel saving tips. The first one is about transportation. Uh, recently I traveled a lot in Germany and I find out that traveling by bus is actually very cheap. So you can actually go long distance for only 20 euros. Uh, I use the Flixbus and the uh, Deutsche Bahn, so the DB bus. They're actually both pretty good. You can go to the website, uh, use uh, the app uh, from Rome to Rio maybe, or directly go to the website of the company and book your ticket there. So uh, you can have a QRL in your uh, phone that you can show so you don't have to print a ticket. It's very easy. A nice uh, way of transportation is go taking the train. I love to take the train, it's actually very comfortable. But in Germany, it's like the longer you book it in advance, the prices are actually pretty good. But if you want to go uh, tomorrow and you buy the ticket today, it can actually cost you like 80 uh, euros. So that's actually very expensive. Or if you travel a long time in Germany, you can look into it that you can buy a car maybe for a whole week or a whole month then it can actually save money, but you can look into the website. Another uh, tip is, of course, uh, sleeping. Well, sleeping in Germany is actually not that expensive and the price quality is actually good. Well, most of the times the, uh, 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 how you say it, the furniture, etc. is a little bit uh, all outdated, a little bit old fashioned, but the quality is like decent quality. So you have different types of youth hostels, you can buy a card for that, that if you go uh, more often to a youth uh, hostel, you can get a discount. So that's cool too. And they have like different options, of course, on uh, hostels. Most of the times I use booking.com, but you can also use the app uh, Hostel World. So it depends on what you want to do. Another uh, way of saving money, of course, is on food. Uh, in Germany, most of the times they have like a menu of the day in Germany called a Tagesmenü, menu, but they, most restaurants only serve it in the afternoon. So from 12 to 2 or from 12 to 3. So if you are able to and you want to save money, it's actually best to eat your biggest meal of the day in the afternoon and then only do a small meal in the evening. Another good option is to go to like a for sort of fast food chain. In uh, Germany, it's called Imbiss, Imbiss Tube. They serve like the, uh, many options of sausages with uh, fries, etc. Or you can uh, think about uh, buying a shawarma or dunne kebab in the street, falafel. That's actually a very cheap air, uh, food too. And of course, uh, don't eat in the center of the biggest cities. If you go outside, like only three, two or three streets further out of sight of the tourist area, it saves already a lot of money too. A good thing in Germany is that in the most cities, you are allowed to drink in public. So walking in the street. So you can go to the supermarket and buy your soda or your beer and just sit uh, uh, down in a park or at the riverside or at the lakeside and drink your drinks. And it saves a lot of money, of course, than going into a restaurant or in a bar. I'm a huge fan of the free walking tour and in Germany, a lot of towns offer that. So you can just look into your, uh, in the internet, free walking tour and add the name of the city you're in. And it pops up because the companies have different names in different uh, countries and in different cities. So I cannot give you the name. The base of the, uh, the system is that you, have, you can join the tour for free. And afterwards, it's very polite to tip the guide. 
Uh, I tip them like five or 10 euros, depends on how long the tour is and how good it is. So you have free walking tours for one and a half hours, but the longest one was actually four hours and they were both pretty good. So that depends too. They are very uh, well informed and very enthusiastic. So that's actually a very nice thing to do and it saves a lot of money. Also in Germany, a lot of bigger cities, they have like a sort of city card. So you can buy a city card for 24 hours or 48 hours. They have different types of cards. And then you already paid for the public transportation and a lot of times also for a lot of tourist areas. So like a museum. So if you want to do more museums and do a lot of it public transportation, it probably saves money if you buy it in advance. If you like museums, a lot of museums, not only in Germany, but actually all over the world, a lot of museums have like free entrance once a week or once a month, or they have like uh, free entrance in the evening, or they have like a day they give a big discount. So in Munich, like eight museums, uh, only uh, entrance fee is one euro on a Sunday. So on a Sunday, I did two museums, two euros, which would normally easily cost me like 25 euros. So that saves a lot of money. Of course, for free, if you walk in the city, you can also look at the nice buildings already from the outside. But walking is for free, of course. If the city is bigger and you want to have less time to explore it, you can actually think about maybe renting a bike. Bicycles are actually for renting also not that expensive and you can uh, explore a bigger area. I hope you like these tips, you think they're helpful, and I see you uh, when you watch your, uh, my other videos. I wish you a happy day, happy travels. Let's travel the world together.